guys, welcome to the Fault in Our Stars tag. So Shana, as always, as my <laughs> tag bookie, found me this Fault in Our Stars tag, and so I figured I would do it for you guys. So question one is, who is your favorite character in the Fault in Our Stars book and movie? Um, I of course want to say Hazel Grace, but, but you automatically want to say Augustus because he's just so amazing. Um, I really, I really like how Shailene Woodley did in the movie. She did amazing, but I do think that... Ansel kind of outshined her, which was okay because Augustus is supposed to leave an impact on you. So I think in the movie I like Augustus better, but in the book I like reading it from Hazel Grace's point of view. So I guess in the book I think I like Hazel Grace a little more. Question two is how many times have you read the book? Would you read it again? I have only read it once um, because I mean I read it and then I don't think I've stopped like reading other books long enough to want to go back and reread it again. Although watching the movie did want make me want to reread it, um, but yeah, I mean, I just I read *Fault in Our Stars* and then I started reading *Game of Thrones* and now I'm reading *Dresden Files* and I read *Paper Towns* by John Green, which was so amazing, and I am so glad they're making it into a movie. Um, I read Searching for Alaska, Looking for Alaska first, um, like, I think right after Fault in Our Stars, which, again, awesome, and I hope they make it into a movie, um, but I would definitely read Fault in Our Stars again. <laughs> Question three is, what is your favorite song off the movie soundtrack? <sighs> now... Um, All of the Stars by Ed Sheeran is an amazing song and it's really hard to beat, but let's see if I can find it, just so I make get the name right. I have listened to the Fault in Our Stars soundtrack back and forth because I love it so much. It is such an amazing soundtrack, um, but Simple as This by Jake Bug. is my favorite song on the whole soundtrack. If you guys haven't heard it, listen to it because it is so good. And a really close second is Not About Angels by Birdie. That song, like, oh, it's so good and it makes you want to cry every time you hear it because all you can see is like her driving home from Augustus' funeral and it's heartbreaking. <laughs> so question four is what is your favorite quote from the book? There are so many good quotes, <laughs> but, um, my favorite quote in the entire book. Oh, right here. Uh, page 273, if you have the hardbound edition. It's right after Hazel speaks at Gus's funeral. And it's such a simple quote, but it's so true. And it's what I've believed for so long. And it was so cool to finally find this quote in a book that I love. Because I've thought it for so many years. Uh, Hazel says, funerals, I had decided, are for the living it's so true. <laughs> Question five is what does John Green mean by the title? Um, the Fault in Our Stars, the title is based off of a quote. Um, it's from, I want to say Shakespeare, uh, but uh, the line is something like, it's talking about star-crossed lovers, I believe. I wish I had the real quote right here. It's like three in the morning. Because Hazel Grace talks about how her and Gus were the, that Gus was the star cross, cross love of her life. Because, I mean, they loved each other so much, but they just, it wasn't in the stars for them to live a happy, long life together. So, um, basically it's just saying that um, it's nothing that they did to prevent them from be, themselves from being together, but it was just fate. Question six is, at the beginning of the book, Hazel wanted to ditch support group for the 
dot 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 reality show. Um, she was gonna ditch Top Model with her mom. America's Top Model. God, what a horrible show. Question seven is, what shirt does Hazel Grace wear when she meets Peter Van Houten? She wears a shirt that has a picture of a pipe on it and it says this is not a pipe. Meaning that a picture of an object is not the object itself. <laughs> Question eight is, Gus says Hazel looks like... Now, I had no idea what this question meant, like what it was referring to, so I, I googled it and I couldn't come up with anything on that front either, so I, I guess like they just mean, because I mean he says she's beautiful, because she says why are you staring at me, or why are you looking at me, and he says because you're beautiful. So I'm guessing that's what they meant, I think, <laughs> I have no idea. Question nine is, where do they, Hazel and Gus, meet? They meet at support group. And question ten, final question, is, what are their full names? Um, I didn't remember ever reading Gus's middle name, so again, I tried to find it on Google. And it doesn't exist. <laughs> um, so I would say it's Augustus Gus Waters and Hazel Grace Lancaster. Alright guys, thanks for joining me for my Fault in Our Stars tag. Um, you guys should leave comments below or you could do a response video of your own Fault in Our Stars tag video. That would be awesome too. So let me know. Uh, if you've read the book and or seen the movie, I thought the movie was spectacular. I thought they just did an incredible job. And I mean, you could tell John Green was on set for pretty much the entire shoot because it stayed so true to the book. And God, Ansel is just like the most perfect Augustus Waters they could find. I mean... I don't think anyone could have played him like Ansel did, because he just... <sighs> I think Augustus Waters would be a hard character to live, like, to portray and live up, up to, to the, for the fans, and he did it so perfectly. <sighs> and I mean, I've always liked Shailene Woodley. I uh, started my path with her on... Uh, Secret Life of the American Teenager. I only watched like the first season and a half because it got so stupid and so just ugh. Oh my god, I couldn't watch that anymore. And from what I've seen of how the show ended and where it went, I'm really glad I stopped watching. <laughs> um, <coughs> but I always thought Shailene was a good actress on that show. I mean, she was great in Divergent. And any everything else I've seen her in, she's just really good. And she did an amazing job as Hazel Grace, I thought. So, yeah. Alright, thanks for watching, you guys. And I will see you later.